What's happening, everybody? Real Master. Welcome back to more of uh, Epic Chef. Like, easily, probably, like, my favorite game of the year. Like, this game is so much fun. Uh, I spent a little bit, like, maybe about half an hour, uh, gathering stuff up to... Well, we'll go out there in a second. We'll go We'll go into that in a minute. Right now, I think I have this whole thing figured out. This multiplier up there is 4.5, 4, and 5. So we want to cook up a meal. It has the most amount of points that we can get. Actually, I want to go out there. I lied. Banded dish. Yeah, because there's nothing there. We do want to go out there first. All right. So we're going to go out here and we're going to gather up everything. Uh, I did a little bit of changes. I planted a second mandrake, so we have two of these things now. I have a lot of different things right here, which, I mean, this is all the same, but I put one right here. So this is all the planks and everything I've been making up, so that way when we do need something for building, we really have it. I don't have to sit there and grind through it like I did last time. I have seeds for everything in case I need to, oh, not even in case, when I need to read. Because there's four or two, like, they're going to have to be redone soon. And then I put four boxes right here, one of each thing, so I could have extras of everything and... I need seeds, you know, what have you. We have it there. Should be food in here, so this thing will be keep, keep making milk when it can. And yeah, uh, the thing I need though, I need this. So I moved the tree, and if you do remove the tree with the hammer, it does remove the tree. You don't get a seed back, so I made sure to make it so I could get seeds back first. And this, it does have its own wood as well. We have this right here, Irwin wood. But then we have the Irwin fruit, and then the Evil Mandagora. <laughs> and then we have our cow meat. So I'm thinking I can make a really good meal. It's probably not going to necessarily have, like, combinations. Because you can see the levels on these things. Level 12, uh, level 19, level 9. Like, even the milk is level 7. And the apple's level 5. Like, we haven't even unlocked the apple yet. So we're going to go here. We're going to cook up this meal. And I'm just going to start cooking it with, like... Honestly, I think I'm going to start with this, because it gives you a lot. can't necessarily get, like, combos, but I feel like this is going to get us our best amount. Alright, and then we're going to add in, I think this, because it at least has, like, this is this is 9, 8, and 3, this is 6, 9, and 5. Honestly, this may be a better one. I could do another meat, and we can get the multiplier there. Uh, I think I'm going to do this one. Aroma doesn't matter. Not for this, anyway. Okay, and yeah, nothing blends in well, so I could do another Mandagora or... Erwin, a legendary fruit of great sweetness, often present in legends and culmination of a Oparius godly feast. I never actually read that before. Alright, this is fine. Alright, still spins them out, so 23, 26, 23, and 11. I feel like this is gonna be good. Should have seen if there was a sauce I can make. I didn't even think about that. Oh man. So now we eat the food and it gives us like our, our experience goes up based on the multiplier we have. Yeah. Okay, so we're at level six. Level seven. Nice. Nice. I have the milk. I have a whole bunch of stuff access now. Okay, so this oh this works well with these then. Yeah, okay. 1.6 times. Right, so we get the best with the potatoes, I think. Yeah, because this gives us yellow. Uh, and then what else did I unlock? I unlocked the apple, which I have no idea. Okay, level 9 for that one, so we aren't there yet. But basically, I want to keep trying to get that multiplier going, so that way we can get even more. So I guess we just don't eat food for a few days, and it's fine. Oh, uh, all right. And as far as my inventory, yeah, we're we're good. We're good. So it's been several days though, because I I did all the tree chopping and everything like that. Let's bust out this dude and hop on here. Let's go for a ride. Uh, we should have everything finished now, so I should be able to go up here. I can go get another seed if I really wanted to in the forest, but I feel like going to town is the biggest thing. We need to return to the Mystic Emporium. What? Oh, ah, what's what's all that noise? It came from the plaza. Oh god. Hey, professor. Hey. Well... How did that experiment go? Decently. Decently. Are you sure? Yeah, well, 
I managed to perfect an essence extractor. I have the plans right here. I see. And there were no snags of any kind. All within the acceptable parameters. Then the giant potato monster thing must be the spawn of another group of demented occultists. Do you want your stupid spectral spud or not? Go stato sounds better. Call it whatever you want, just take the plans and go. Shouldn't experience any secondary effects. Well, keep that in mind. I wish you luck explaining all this experiment report. Actually, we have a standard form. To be honest, I don't even need to mark the other incidents checkbox. Oh, I should have come and done that first. Well, I mean, one of the things is already maxed, but the other ones would have been. Okay. Well, we don't have to go back there. Oh my god. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, the gentleman who helped us with our experiments. I was wondering if I could buy some more callousons, but the shop seems to be going through some hard times. Yes. Well, I can prepare a few, th few of them for you if you pay for the materials. 1200 Okay. I was wondering how much it was. Alright. If that's the case, then we're... I mean, I'm good, right? Is there... No, wrong one. This one. Okay, so we need the potatoes for that. I don't know if any of that opens up. Alright, well, you know what? I feel like we're good for now. <laughs> Let's go back. I'm assuming we have to craft this thing. Uh, I don't want to open the thing now. Because I'm riding on this. I'll get off here. I'll just wait till I get back. Okay. So, what is it? Sawmill? Windmill? Mixer? Mixer? That's gotta be it, right? I don't recognize that one. I think this is the one that was missing before. Alright. God bless, man. I need more space. Can I put this here? Where, where, where can I even put this at? I think I can put it there. I don't know. I have to get the ingredients first. But I have them all right. Well, I don't have them all right here. I just have to craft them up real quick. One, two, three. One, two. Alright. This is why I made these. So I wouldn't have to wait. I can literally just make them right now and we're golden. Make me that, make me that, make me that. Alright. Now, craft up the mixer. Good lord. You let me put it right here. I want to have some space to get to the... <laughs> to get to the pathway if I can. Alright, so mixer. Ground beef, special dough, ghost tato. Oh, I need one more. Alright, well... Hopefully that'll be popping up here pretty soon. What else is there? Special dough. Special blend of Concordia's finest rice grain and sun-dried carrot, carrot dust. Oh, wait. You know what? Screw that. I'm going to do that right now. Boom, boom. Alright. <laughs> I have it. Okay, I've made it. Uh, then there's ground beef, which takes two cow meat and milk. Oh, I can actually do one of those. What, 15? What, what are we, seaweed? Yeah, water and plant. Water and plant. Okay. Hmm. You'd start with this, I assume. Well, no. You need this in there first. So I guess start with this, then go to that? You don't get a lot of points for this, though. It's a problem. Doesn't matter. I don't have enough, anyways. Cow oh, I can make this myself? I'm a ghost tato and three cow feed. What? Okay, well, this isn't going to be a problem. Uh, honestly, my... Oh, you know what? No, there's something else I discovered, I think. I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure. So, up here. I came up here, and I was kind of like... I was trying to do uh, just stuff to k kill time on the last day before I slept. And so I was trying to get like my points up up there. And I thought maybe this would do it. And I came over here and saw the statue and used it. And said, it's like, oh, something is missing. So, I think I figured out what to do with this thing. I think this thing is for here. I want to put this in here and see what happens. There, it fits perfectly. Wait, what's it doing? They're not shiny stones. I think they're hydro crystals. They're generating water. It's like I'm in a magical powered pool. This is the kind of thing an extravagant noble would pay a lot of money for. What a house. It's full of surprises. Okay. Pump up the gem achievement. 
All right. Well, I didn't know that's what that was for. I almost wish I would have stuck it in there so I could have used that. I'm going to do it right now, though. See how much blue it actually gives us. I'm at 10 right now at 0.5, so... Tempting water, but I should change clothes. Why do you do this to me? All right. Change clothes into my swimming suit. Do I have to take my hat off or can I swim with my hat on? Ah. Relaxing by the pool. In the pool. I mean, that was... That gave me stuff to everything. We're at one, times one on everything now. Okay, that was pretty cool. All right, I'm in to grow, but it's not growing yet. Oh, oh crap. Uh, I mean, as far as other missions go, I really, this is the main one I need to do is challenge this guy. Yeah, I mean, I don't, maybe they have something else. A special potato and I'd fight him, but create a ghost potato is what I have to do. All right. Well, there's one other place I can go to get a bunch of points. And this, this is what I was doing also to get points. Talk to him for a second. Alright, there we go. I honestly don't want to pick all of you right now. I just want to pick these. Alright. Ghost Tato. I almost could make two of them. Okay, I've made a Ghost Tato. Create a Ghost Tato. I've, I've done it. Uh, I should create one and show it to the ghost. Oh, to the ghost! I forgot about him entirely. Alright. Not a problem. Hey, dude. I made a thing. Uh. Ghost Tato. Good news. I found a solution to your problem right here. I have? Already? I expected more. I mean, that's some truly splendid news, my worthy descendant. May I see it? Of course, here. This. This is a potato. It's sort of the ghost of potato. I call it ghost potato. Figured that you could solve your hunger problems with this. You expect me to eat this? Yeah, you said you're hungry, right? That should fill your spectral belly. That's not what I meant, you buffoon. Thanks. I was talking about my hunger for the ancient forbidden knowledge of the secrets of life and death. It's not my fault if you use this con convoluted language. Expect people to understand what you're saying. You really thought a ghostly apparition materialized in the world to ask for you for a potato? Hey, how was I supposed to know? Considering the local obsession with food, an undead entity looking for a snack pretty much fits right in. You're a specter, not a ghost. Well, any idiot would have known that I wasn't talking literally, and they're the same thing. No, they're not. A ghost has no conscience of its own, sort of memory acting automatically, whereas a specter is a conscious being. You pulled that definition out of your arse. Most people agree that they are interchangeable. Oh, really? I thought that someone so hungry for ancient forbidden knowledge of the secrets of life and death would <laughs> use a bit more specific terminology instead of basing lexic on what most people say. Do you want to get technical, eh, smartass? If anything, I'm a spirit. See? That's more spectery than go. <sighs> How do you know all this anyway? I did some studying back home. There's no back home. This is your home. You need to answer to the call of the bloodline. This again. In my unending quest for forbidden knowledge, I am inescapably forced to be foolishly unleashed unspeakable evil on this victimized land. The Underdigger, a poisonous spawn capable of swallowing a mountain whole, growing wild on earth, relentlessly corrupting the tainted earth with venomous tentacles. Wait, that thing some sort of animal? Plant, not just a meager vegetable. Prodigious, prodigious monstrosity, macabre spawn her Theoretically brought back from the era of myth. Oh, you mean vines and tendrils and whatnot then, not tentacles. And what's with the adjective bombing? Are you trying to impress me? I'm trying to warn you of the dangers of the land so you don't end up getting dragged to a horrible death. But sure, do get lost on technicalities. Be my guest. I guess at least you'll die with a smug smile on your face. Point very taken. Please do go on. What else is dangerous around here? Big hunger, I mean, creatures of formidable veracity lurk in the land. Inner spiders, implicable sp predators whose screams of doom will haunt your nightmares. Sounds pretty serious. Worry not, I enslave them to guard the room. They have been magically sus sustained for decades and bound to an obedience field. They shall only devour the fools foolish enough to enter the forbidden ruins. And elves. Elves? Yes, elves. What? You're an elf lover? Uh, well, not a lover, just 
you know, not a murderer? <laughs> Elves are evil. We're at war with the damn homogeny with for good reason. Homogeny sucks, true, but they seem to have left us alone for a decade now. The homogeny will come back, like they always do. It's been a constant. They want to make us kneel again, like olden times. If you find an elf in Concordia, he's more likely to be a deserter or someone born here. They still have no damn business snooping around my property. You're supposed to beware of spider sign if you're so worried. Okay, I'll make sure no one gets close to the ruins and no one with pointy ears enters my property. Any case, what's this about the forbidden ruins? The object of my session lies within an ancient temple dating from an era of myth. And when Temperus walked amongst us and lit his flame in the darkness, it is said to hold the gateway to the land of the gods guarded by a dragon. Is a dragon down there? People are worried about the ghost of an old man? Worry not about the dragon. The ruins are sealed as I expect. Fired my last breath by the same spell that bound my spirit to this world. I see, very reassuring. And what about the bird? The bird? Yes, the giant chicken that keeps screaming and waking me up from my sleep. I don't know. Must be just a bird? <laughs> yeah, well, it's making my life hell. You know what I could do to get rid of it? Look, that bird is not important. The family curse is what matters. The seal I cast upon my death has kept the ruin free of intruders, but. Now that you're here, we can get inside. First, you'll need to recover the Rod of Domination. We're powerless without it. We have a lot to do, my descendant. A lot to do. Yeah, about that. What? I don't think I'm related to you. I just bought the property from a woman I met in Ornius. I'm very eager to get rid of the place. What? It has to be some sort of mistake. The deed was clear on the urgency of the matter. Well, she was specifically said, screw the old bastard. I don't know what she meant by that at the time. But, but, my lineage... I'm sorry to hear that, really, but eh, well, the place is now legally mine, so if you would be so kind as to take your haunting somewhere else, I'd be very grateful. How dare you! I built this place out of nothing, you cannot simply kick me out like some sort of pathetic bum. I'm beyond your comprehension, you hear. I defeated death itself. Leave this place now or you'll wish you'd never been born. You are powerless, <laughs> powerless against my undying wrath. Please, don't burn the painting. It's all a misunderstanding. I'm a good fellow. We, we can be friends. Yes, friends. Will you drop that tone? Yes. And stop using the scary face? Yes. God, the interactions in this game are just so good. <coughs> Look, I'm not at all that happy about having a specter around, but I'm also not the kind of person who enjoys evicting old people out on their homes. You can stay here if you don't cause any trouble. I'll be good, I'll be good. Fine, then maybe we can get, maybe able to do a thing or two about those curses. Perhaps start by getting rid of that demonic ger geranium in the security spider force? There's nothing we could do about them without the rod of domination. The last I had was, the one I had was lost long ago. I thought you would know about it the first time we spoke, but instead you came back with an undead potato. I'm trying to think of something then, but I definitely won't be the guy who walks around town asking for the rod of domination. <laughs> Yeah, that probably wouldn't go well. Yes, God forbid anyone thought you might be a strange person. Okay. So. Er. Um. He's hey, wait, where'd he go? He's gone. He disappeared. Alright. I have a ghost Tato. Can I do something with this? It goes with rice. I don't have any rice. Oh wait. Special dough. Okay, so we start with special dough. We go to probably rice, I think. Okay, I need to get rice. I have some outside. I have some in the chest. Oh no, there's still one rice that's done too. Like, I don't want to challenge the guy to probably tomorrow. I want to be able to sleep just in case something happens and I have to reload. <laughs> um... Uh, no, see, I can't do that because I'd have to su summon another cow and then sacrifice it. I don't want to do all that. Okay, well, I have the rice. So, yeah, so if I do this, and then we do this, it'll give me the bonuses for that, and then I could do this, and it'll give me the bonus for that. And so that's the dish I could make for the guy. All right, so we got our costume. We got our, our ghost tato. Uh, no, not you. 
Okay, and now I have both things I need. All right, prepare to fight him. So I just fight him tomorrow, I'm assuming. It's, today is too late. It's 6 p.m. By the way, did you drop any milk today? Here's the milk, buddy. I need some milk. All right. All right. Well, can't really think of anything to do today. I'm just gonna go golfing. That just appeared. The magic, magical golf thing. All right. So happy. <laughs> All right, it's eight o'clock. We just got a whole bunch of points. All right, I want to level up more, so I would like to try to get the stats up. I'm gonna have to replant stuff here soon too. I'm gonna have to replant stuff tomorrow. It looks like. Okay, so how many do I have of each? I have two. I have three of those. I have more than enough of those. So I need to make another tomato and carrot. Cause there's like what three and one left. So tomato and carrot. Right here. You and you. I mean, I should probably make cow food. I would be. I. What else did it take to make the cow thing? I'd have to make another ghost tato. Which, I just simply need the mandagora or whatever. I don't think I... Yeah, I, don't, I didn't put a place for those because I don't have like a ton of those. Uh, give me this too. Alright. What? I had to move this one though because it would fall down. It would fall on the gate every time. And so... It took a while to get enough to actually even make a seed out of it. It was, uh, interesting. It was interesting. I, I guess, can I go swimming again, or is it... Let's sit here for a second. Enjoy the scenic air, I guess. Right? There we go, oh, that's rice. Whatever, I'm just gonna go in and go to sleep. Go and go to sleep. We'll have all our stuff for tomorrow, and we should be good to go make the food. And I want to. I want to. Can I make something fancier than a ghost tato? Give me like a special tomato, or special rice, or something. I mean, we have the dough. I guess that's technically special rice. All right. So our game is our game is saved. The worst case scenario happens. We're good. My inventory's full. Oops. I didn't think about that. Alright. Come here, dude. Uh. There's some potatoes in there. Some of that in here. I don't need those. Do I need those? I don't know. I'm gonna put all this stuff up here, though. I don't need this much. Or that much. Alright, there we go. I should pick everything else and I should be able to plant all the seeds. Alright, what do we run out of? Oh, everything. <laughs> okay, so I need you and you. Carrots. Oh, wait, I'm actually going to need everything. Oh, I think this is the right place. Alright. Apparently didn't put them. Oh, and then I need the potato ones too, duh. Forgot all about that. You. And you. Alright. Give me two potatoes. I don't know how I ended up with so many extra potatoes. I think because I don't use them as much. Potato. Right there. Right there. And I, what I may end up doing is making these a lot longer too. And I just, I feel like right now it's perfectly fine. So we have 12, 12 and 2. So I have enough. We're good for a while. I'm going to throw these in here. I'm going to keep those ones on me. Actually, I'm going to keep that on me. Just Okay, I guess we're good to go. Yes, I mean, I can make another dough, so I know we'd be good if I had to do two. Because I don't know if we have to do two or one. You know what? Let's make another ghost potato. Another dough. It still leaves me with two rice. Rice, there's a dough, a rice, ghost potato. 
Okay, so yeah, we have enough for basically two of the same meals if I have to. Alright, come here, dude. Let's go. Go for a ride. Go challenge the dude. Prepare to fight him. We should be good. Wait, 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 wait. There's one last thing. One last thing. Forgot about sauces. I think she said to make sure to bring something so we can get, you know, some sort of boost for our food. And, I mean... Oh, what is it? Seven? It's gonna be the biggest boost we have. Looks like yellow. And, uh, plus ten spirit. They're flavors to the pan. Twenty spirit sophistication. I need another mushroom. That's all. Right there. Likes sophistication and increases sophistication points in subsequent dishes by two. Okay, so I need to make this. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to do... I kind of want to do, like, this, maybe? I feel like this would be our best choice. Increase the value of sophistication and flavor points in the pan by times two and 50 points. Oh, my God. I can't even... I don't even know what this is. Or the mushroom sauce is that. Or whatever that, whatever that one is isn't even on... You know, I think it's something that's locked. Oh, I'm so torn on what to do in the sauce, man. I guess we'll, no matter what, I'm going to make this. Ah, oh, I don't know if I want to do this one or this one, though. In subsequent dishes. See, I don't think I want to do that necessarily, because that just means his dish is going to be better. Like, this is what I'd love to do. <laughs> I guess, honestly, I'm going to go with the special cream sauce. That's fine. Then... Give me two of those. Alright. Yeah, so we still have enough for two meal, two two servings. Of I don't have two sauces, so I'm just hoping that it goes well. If it doesn't, then we just have to reload the game. It's that simple. Actually, I lied. No. No, no, no. Go, just go... No, stop. Stop. Okay. Go back over here, we can make the mushroom sauce real quick, and I just realized that the cow should have dropped milk. Like that, yeah, there's a milk in here. It's been long enough that we should have another milk. But then, yeah, I'm gonna make the mushroom sauce. And we'll at least have something if I have to do a second one. Yeah, I could go get a seagull egg, and I can make another one of these, too. What did the mushroom sauce do, by the way? Okay, yeah, tin sophistication. Okay, come here. I don't know what you're doing. Birch, you're, you're a strange one. You're a strange one, Birch. Let's go fight the Orc Mafia. Oh, God. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't even know if this is doing good anymore. I have no clue at this point in time because it's like, I'm recording this so far in advance. <laughs> because I just don't want to stop playing. This is so much fun. All right. I'm prepared to fight him. Where am I fighting him at? Oh, wait, what? Hold up. Where am I fighting him at? Is it... Wait, huh? Am I going down to the beach? I don't remember what she said to me. I think I have to go back down here to talk to her or something. I don't remember. Hello? How's it going? Cool. Okay, the thing is here, but I'm supposed to talk to you. I have the chef outfit, but I still need to present her with the right ingredient. Oh. I have a ghost tato. Hey, Mitrilli, look at this. What? What in the hell is this? It's the essence of a potato. I call it a ghost tato. How did you get something like that? It's a long story. You think it'll do, though? Eh. Prince in something like this and manages to make it taste good. It'll build him a damn statue. Think it'll do? A bit extravagant, but it might do the trick, yeah. Great, we can cross this one off the list then. As you can see, I got myself a fancy uniform. I see, is that all you managed to get? What? You think it's more glitty or something? <laughs> you know, for a person who calls him Zest, he ain't exactly a p found a pizzazz. Well, I guess names don't necessarily go with personality. Looks like it. I mean, your name ain't built to me, but you sure are jerky as hell. 
Hey, I'm hoping you have the kindness of my heart, remember? Out of remorse, you mean. The same? <laughs> Not the same at all. Anyway, this will have to do. We can cross this one off the list. Neat. I suppose so. Don't get cocky, you have no idea what you're stepping into. I have an idea, yes. The Orc Mafia wants to deep fry me in oil. I'm just trying to keep my spirits up. There are worse things than La Chorus Nostra. Plastic cooking contest, Mitriel. Not like I'm facing a doomsday cold. I mean, that could have been more perfect. <laughs> that was great. Oh. That was, like, legit amazing timing. Oh, man, this game. Council of Despair? The meeting begins. First point of the day, let us give a big thank you to in Esperanto for getting us brand new headquarters. Even if something needs to be done about the current decoration. We wanted a tower, I got us a tower. It was cheap after the previous owners left. Why would they leave such a charming place? Oh, this is the people. Okay, I get it. Some kids slayed their dark whatever and the plot was spoiled. They lost our game. Just be happy you didn't have to get the delicate evil elven hands dirty by cleaning up the severed tentacle mess elven. Elden. Nor? Ah, oh, yes, certainly. Orcish hands are more suited for brutish tacks, such as this. Ugh. <laughs> you win this one. That, that'll be enough regarding the tower. Let's get through today's stuff. Any news? Well, the mages have a special new dish this week. Something about changing hair color when eating it. Hair color? We're running out of ideas. The levitation dessert was amusing. They're stretching the shenanigans a bit too much lately. Well, it sounds interesting to me. I'll be covering it. Definitely suits you. Having people focused on hair color rather than the actual cuisine. It's called branding, Angra. 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 Yes. And <laughs> some color wouldn't kill you, sweetheart. I could lend you one of my outfits. Maybe that way you'd stop calling me, calling you the ghost. You keep dressing like that, disrespecting the outfit for show. You're not even a chef. At least we have something in common. Oh, oh, oh! I must say it's been a slow week. Same old leagues, same old restaurants. Most interesting thing I've heard that Chef Bolton managed to improve the jiggliness of his melon jelly recipe by 300%. Jiggling melons, really? That is, that is very last decade. People seem to like it. Of course they do. Other than that, the leagues are proceeding as usual. Uh, no events except for some newcomer who challenged Torpe Torpeo. And say there's been sighting of a sea monster inside the security perimeter. What did you say? Don't worry, they're just rumors. I don't think any monster would... Not that, a newcomer challenged Torpeo? Who? Some nobody who came from abroad. Now that's interesting. I don't see how. Torpedo will crush the poor lad, Mal. It's an epic story unfolding. More like a tragedy sinking. Still a story, Angria, and in the right hands. It might prove to be a very powerful one. So I'm ready? Looks like you are. The only need to talk to Bosco at the Culinarium stand, and he will set it into motion. Everything else depends on you. Neat. Any final advice? Make sure you bring a lot of high-quality ingredients and plan ahead. I can tell you that... There will be three dish contests. If I know Torpedo, he will cook a very vigorous dish, but wouldn't try beating him on this field. What then? Should I focus on more elaborate dishes? Yes, you should have a sauce ready that goes well with sophisticated dishes. Torpedo won't be able to benefit from that, and he'll be able to impress the judge. Keep that in mind when preparing. Got it. Good luck, then. And remember, do not mention my name or help. It will disqualify you, and this is very against the rules. All right. Okay, so um, so I want to make that dish. Is that what you're telling me? Or I want to make that sauce. I, I mean, I could, right? There wasn't anything that was really stopping me. I don't think. I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna go back. Part of me wants to go swimming just to give that bonus to my experience stuff. Alright. And we gotta go... I mean, like, I kind of want to wait till tomorrow now. Because I don't want to go through all that again if I have to. If I fail. Because if I fail, I mean, we lose the house. Obviously, it's game over, man. We gotta, we gotta restart at that point. So, I guess we're gonna go back for a second. I'm gonna see exactly what I needed to make. 
said sauce. And I mean, I'm sure we have it. If we don't, it'll be we'll have it in the. So you. Right here, right here. Yeah, special dough, and I need to make another rice thing. So yeah. Okay, and now I need to make another special dough. But do, but do. I think I need more than that then too. I'm making, I'm using rice a lot more than I did before. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't I just, didn't, oh, because I didn't, well, I'm very confused now. Yeah, okay, that's fine. See, I'm confused, so the sauce is going to give... I don't quite understand how that one helps me. Makes the judge like sophistication and increase sophistication points in subsequent... Subsequent. So dishes after the one I'm doing. So... I mean, I guess I use this... In my dish, I wait. I want it. I don't want to have any, any of the smell. The first one, but I want to have the smell in the second one. And we use this one. We get ten extra sophistication on top of what we. Do. All right, whatever. This is fine. Uh, my inventory, yeah, it's fine. Talk to the golem real quick. Gonna just kill the rest of the time for today. Uh, you do have food, so I'm not worried about that. I get some of these just in case I, for some weird reason, need them. All right, and then actually, you know what? I'm gonna go do this again. Not like that I have to do this part, but whatever. <laughs> it's not like it's that big a deal. <laughs> All right. There we go. Crap tons of experience. Oh my god, that really gives a lot of experience. Alright, and then I guess I could go golf. I'm just trying to literally kill the time. I'm thinking like the best ways to do this. The golf gets my... gets the yellow up. Alright, I'm not even going to sit here and wait. Just give me the experience. And then I can go study at the table inside and I'll give us the rest. Oh, oh, oh. me another seagull egg. All right. Ah, and the golem doesn't do anything besides just give me a bunch of points. All right, you upstairs. Look <laughs> how the ghost just abandoned it. Uh, I was actually starting to think that we were like somehow like managed to like get like a bl the bloodline of it. And I'm thinking, wow, I I did not expect that, but nope, we weren't. <laughs> you see, boy, we just said it. I want to get in the ruins now, though. In order to do that, I'm sure we have to proceed to like do the spacing of this guy. So I'm gonna go do that like right, almost away. I don't think we can do it right away. Hey, you still have food, right? Yep, you still have food. In fact, there should be a milk on the ground. Yes, no, maybe so. Yep, there it is. All right. Come here, buddy. I don't feel like walking. Dude. <laughs> Oh, and I have my rice? Yeah, I have everything. Let's just double check, because this, this is the actual we're going to go do the food war with the Mafia guy. Alright, and I'm assuming it's not... Uh, yeah, it's not going to be open yet. What did I do to go kill an hour? Oh, they're not here. I can't talk to them. Well, crap, that's what I was thinking I was going to do. I can't do anything on the beach yet because it's in the morning still. Well, crap, I should have stayed at home for a minute. Whatever. You're not here either, are you? Oh, man. There's like nothing you can do this early in the morning. They don't expect you to come down so quick. I can't talk to like you guys or anything, right? No. Uh. Okay, no, that's literally all you can do. Alright, I'll just sit and wait an hour. Yep, it's 9 a.m. now. Oh, it did give me stuff. Uh, you ready to respond to the challenge? Well, I'm ready. Uh, I need ingredients for three course combat, some sauce to boost sophistication, at least one ghost ado. Losing a boss fight will revert to the last save game. Yeah, see, that's what I figured. Okay, so you don't want to use these three. 
Rice is a bonus, though. I have rice for both of them. And things that include rice in them. But yes. Yes, I think I'm ready. Good, then. We'll provide transport to the tower. Well, there's no need for that. I can just walk up there. Not with the city in lockdown. You need to deal with a ton of bureaucracy till you find that troublesome spy. We can let you in as a guest. But you'll have to be part of an official transport. So glamorous. What will it be then? A carriage? A fancy mechan mechanical thingy? Something like that. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Got a delivery to the Culinarian Tower? Go ahead. I bring it, bring it, Rufio. You know. What's with the sound? New urban safety regulations prevent people from being caught by a backing up cart. I see, but how did you get the donkey to make that sound? Oh, it's easy. You see, you take a whistle, plug, and a bag of beans, and uh, you know what? Forget I even asked. <laughs> Do we have today? <laughs> A compost lot and chest. Chest? Those are sacks. No. Just some guy named Chest or something. It's Zest. Ah, the challenger. Head straight to the tower. Only you are allowed in though. Your pals can stay in the cart. Go on. My pals? Yes. You mean the bags. Eh yes. You're cleverly implying that I'm a sack of flog. Probably because I don't live in the inner city. Well, yeah. Wasn't that hard. Why in Fulger would you insult me like that? You, eh, you're supposed to just take it and move along. Well, I'm most definitely not just gonna take it and move along. Took okay, everyone in the city believing that you can just spit an insult to your face and then just take it and happily stroll away, sporting a smi silly smile. Uh, demand an apology, my good sir. Most definitely did not come here to be insulted by a useless gatekeeper. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. You act all high and mighty, yet you just judge me based on my job, mister. You're in no position to point fingers. I didn't judge your job. I judge your skill in performing it. A gatekeeper's job does not involve insulting people. He or she does not like. Your job is to keep intruders out and let guests in. But if you insist, if you insult guests, you are polluting the transaction and letting in bad moods and potential trouble. An obnoxious gatekeeper is no better than a dirty strainer. That's why I called you useless. You specifically. It's all right. Just apologize and promise to do better in the future. One hell of an attitude coming from someone sitting in a stinking compost cart. Hey. Shameful. I, eh. No, you see? It's just that, eh. Cart is not supposed to be stinking. Compost, Barlow. It's supposed to bloody smell. And you're not supposed to be the bastard idiot, and yet you are. Sorry. That's better. I wasn't talking to you. Move along already. We're waiting for you. Yes, it's a lost cause. <laughs> like, like all the interactions are just so great. Oh my god. Alright. How goes it? You're finally here. I hope you're ready. Ready as I can be. Head straight to the waiting room. We really shouldn't be talking openly. People will suspect. They will suspect more if we see you whispering and looking over your shoulder. Relax. We're not the center of the universe. I bet there are much more important things going on in a place like this. You have a point. Culinarian Tower is a stronghold of cooking elites. Here, the best and the best learn how to approach the culinary art with the dignity and respect they deserve. You also have some sort of arena where chefs tear each other to ribbons. With the utmost dignity and respect, I assume. Presume. Competition breeds supremacy. We're not here to make friends. It never hurts to be friendly. Speaking of which, is that Angra up there? Hey, Angra. Okay. Did she just give me the cold shoulder? What did you tell her? Angra is not a friend, Zest. She's a critic. And a judge for the match ball things. Didn't look like a bad sort. Might have been the case before she knew you were a chef. You are no friend. There are no friends in this trade. You and I are in the trade, and we're friends, right? Eh, well, of course. But if it isn't our new challenger, Zest, isn't it? Eh, yes? Good luck in the duel, Zest. I'll be watching with interest. Guess I'll try not to disappoint. Nice fellow. He's not nice at all. Do you have any idea who that was? The only person, the late person in the whole city? It was Miss Malvisid, oh, Malv <laughs> Malvaficus, the head of the cult, uh, critic union? So much for not being the center of the universe. What the hell is he doing here? This is way below his realm. Beats me. No time to think about it. It's time. The people waits. We have to combat. Combat to win? Yes, ma'am.
Oh, I just jumped straight into it. All right, let's do this. Go, buddy. Okay, so I don't want this, the, uh, the smell, ladies and gentlemen. Politans of flavor, I bid you welcome to the Halls of Taste. Today we have a very special combat schedule for your pleasure. For we will decide the fate of no less than a restaurant in the city. Let's meet our contestants. You left an old glory makes his comeback to the arena, an orc who burns vividly in the hearts of all visitors of Ambrosia, the bane of tourists, the mobster of chef. Let us welcome Harapio. The face. It's just crazy. You write a complete stranger who has come out of nowhere. A man who is not only settled in the cursed villa, but has also decided to pick a fight with the most dangerous chef in town. Some would call him bold, some would call him stupid. No one would call him predictable. The thumbleweed, a spontaneous man, the ingenious chef. Zest. <laughs> Alright. I wouldn't go as far as to call myself ingenious, but... Neither would I. I wouldn't worry too much about that if they call you maggot. Gonna end your career before it starts. I don't even have a career. Exactly. And the judge will be given oh a judge that will be given us a winner. None other than the favorite of the audience. And Gra. The Merry Kitty. Get on with it, Chris. <laughs> you can see she's as cheerful as ever. You heard the woman. No more time to lose. One of these two gentlemen will walk out of this room owning a cursed manor in the worst restaurant in Brogia. Who will it be? Only one way to find out. Let's get cooking! Alright. Where's my... Oh, I cook right here. Okay. Alright. So, we want to start with the dough. And I don't want... No, I don't want the flavors! No, crap! Give me all the stuffs. Alright, alright. Let me tab. So, now I want to add the rice, and then I want to add this. Okay. Okay. Do this, keep stirring. Alright, now add this. Alright, this, there we go. Alright, that. And we do that. Alright, and then I add the sauce. Right here. Okay, and I guess we're good. Serve dish. I'm intrigued to see what it's what it's called or what it looks like. I guess I'm not gonna see what it's called. Am I? Does it show it? I don't remember. What? I still beat him? Dude. I mean I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but get the bonus of 25 for having rice. Okay, 12, yeah. 24. 36. And we get the times two. What? What was that? <gasps> okay. Oh my god, that's really... Did I actually beat him in the first one? Really? Oh no. Okay. Wait, round two of three? Of three? <gasps> I may have screwed up. I didn't know it was going to be three rounds. Crap. Okay, so we're going to go with dough. Yes. No, I want to I want to go first this time. Need to make sure to actually have good a good good aroma or what have you. Okay. We got that. I like how I'm just throwing a bag in here by the way. Okay. So the rice thing's gone, so it's not even like rice is the best thing. I still don't want to use wheat. I can use this. Oh man. No, keep doing this. I need the aromas or what have you. Okay, we got aroma of 16. Oh, I'm so upset about how this is turning out. Times 
This gives bonus of 15, so... Yep. No, I need the... There we go. Alright. Um... Sophistication? Oh, I didn't realize it's actually going to do something like that. They're actually, like, adding the aroma to it. Okay, serve dish. Okay. I didn't know it was going to be three rounds. Like, we have to get a crap ton of points this round. Alright. Okay, so that was for that was that we got the times two. I got times two for ninety-two. All right. I feel like we're doing really good. I mean, he's probably gonna get a big bonus on the red. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. Okay, and so there's no bonuses this time. I do have another sauce to add 10 more of the blue. I didn't know it was going to be three rounds. Okay. Okay. Um. Ooh, I mean, to get the most points, I think... Yeah, I can't use meat. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the first one is carrots, it seems like. I guess we throw a carrot in. I'm really worried about this. Like, I can't use this, I can't use that, and those are the two biggest I have. And that's not a bad one either. I mean, that'll work. Okay, so we're going to do the carrots. I mean, I don't know if it really matters who goes first. Okay, so we got the carrot. Okay, I can put the milk in next. Do it 1.6 times. Yes, do I want to put the milk in next? I feel like the milk should go in last. No, 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 no. I, I, I have an idea. With Just throw a full milk can in here, it's fine. Alright. Uh, I can throw another milk thing in there and get even more of a multiplier. Truthfully, I feel like... Plus five to Vigor. Um... 20 to Spirit, okay. That'd be a nice boost. I can give another 1.6 multiplier. I don't know, man. I'm so torn on what to do here. Six, nine, and five. I guess this one. Right? Yeah, it's gonna give us the most. And then throw this on top. Alright, this is just gonna pour in a bunch of points. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Okay. Watch that 20 points be the thing that pushes me over. I would have just made the same dish again. Had I known, I, I just I didn't know. Okay, so we have more of of, of an aroma. <gasps> All right. I mean, both of those are pretty good. It it is gotta get a lot. At this point, there's no multiple. Oh my god, 82. No, I think we got this. We got this! Yes! No second attempts! <laughs> Unexpected third round! <laughs> yeah, Victor. Oh! You. You maggot. Rapio, have you lost your mind? Just say the word, boss. Really? This is how you wanted to go? You're the one who set the rules for the stupid bet, not me. I thought you valued your honor. You don't deserve the restaurant. 
You do? If you really cared about the place, you wouldn't be here with to begin with. Shouldn't be fighting your mistakes, not the customers? You're... You're right. Stand down. What? We're just gonna give up like that, boss? I'm not giving up. I've been defeated. But I had been defeated long before I stepped into this arena. My fate was sealed the very same day my triumph as a chef. I reached the top and became complacent with my popularity. Took it for granted. I forgot that in this world, what's popular today is tacky tomorrow. You keep the pace till you fall on your face. Say, screw it, and stand your ground like a champ against a stampede. At first, it felt right. Me against the world. Some took notice, waiting for the next move. That never came. If you want anyone to follow you, you better be going somewhere, anywhere. But I just stood there. I sat on my ass, sinking into irrelevancy. Too stubborn to accept that even the help of an old friend trying to bring me back to the world. Deep down, I knew. But once was pride, it might slowly become disdain and anger. My art became as bitter as my soul. This has gone long enough. Zest. The Vicornio is yours. Take good care of me. Okay, so we know this man is welcome at the district, and anyone who dares to bother him will answer to me, understand? Yes, sir. Well, thank you, Torpedo, but I've got something to say as well. What is it? I didn't win fair and square. I got help from outside. My victory is not... <gasps> no! No! Shut your flippin' mouth! Shut your mouth! What? What kind of help? Did you bribe someone? No, no. Just advice from a professional shelf. Mitriel, member of the culinarium. How my victory to her? Mitriel? Really? This is surprising. Any advice is not against the rules at all. The victory is perfectly legit, Jess. Zest? Really? I thought I was disqualified. Is that what she told you? Ah, I see. She's been sniffing around my restaurant for months now. Well, it looks like she'll be getting more than she bargained for. Eh? You break the news, Bolton. Mitriel, did you help Zest win the contest? I... I... well... I see. Well, according to culinary law, you were acting as sous chef to Zest when he dueled for the restaurant, endorsing him as a legitimate candidate for restaurant ownership. I'm sorry, but this means you've earned the position by his side. Give this serve at Zest's restaurant and help him run the place. Congratulations, Zest. It seems you've won more than a restaurant. You've also run and have an employee. My people and I will make sure she follows the rules to the letter. No! <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, I love this game. Whipper, stop. You're gonna stay like that much longer? Shut up, you ruined my life. Hey, she should have told me the rules were only worked if you wanted me to keep my mouth shut. Not my fault you got boiled in on your own stew. You're the one who pushed me into the pot with the stupid double act. You already won and you had to go all honest. You're right. It's not your fault. You've... That you're a gold-hearted fool. You know things are not that bad. I thought running a restaurant was what most chefs wanted in Concordia. I wanted to have my restaurant. Not to work in the ruin taking orders from an idiot. I could always fire you if you want. That would destroy my career prospects. And we're stuck together. No point in crying over spilled plots. Pots? Pots. As in pots and milk and stew or something. Got mixed up with the me previous metaphor. You said plots. Why would I say plots? <laughs> Fourth wall break. I guess you would. Then we're ready to work together. I don't have a clue on how to run a restaurant. I suppose there's a little choice in the matter. Good to see your enthusiasm. Better to look towards the future. After all, I won't do much to lament on the subsection 349B. Sub Section 349B? He wouldn't. What? What are you talking about? I got this rule book a while ago. Didn't give it much thought at first. After seeing how much you got screwed like that in a single rule, well, I just started reading it. Started reading it, right? Now, right? Not not before. Of course. I would have felt the need to confess anything if I had known. I had nothing to lose, after all. I wouldn't want to cause trouble for someone who was only trying to help me, right? Is he really serious? Or is he teasing me? What's the deal with this guy? Oh, God! It's like I got myself a restaurant, but I'm exhausted. Tomorrow I'll take a look at it. Alright. Alright. Well, with that, I'm actually going to have to end it here because I've been recording for like an hour. Um, We got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, my God. There's so many things. Holy crap. Look at it. It's just flowing in. I'm going to go home and go to sleep. And we'll pick up there next time. Holy God! It just keeps going! And it's in. Okay. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>